Hey guys, it's George here. Um, I wanted to talk about how to write a case brief for your 1L year. So um, during your 1L year, you'll be assigned uh, to read various cases. And today we have Postus versus Horton. Uh, <clears throat> and this is for a torts class. So um, the first element you're going to have in your case brief is the parties. And um, I have them identified here as P as a plaintiff and uh, D defendant and then appellant and appellee. This is the person uh, bringing the appeal. Generally, the cases you're going to read are from the appeals court um, uh, or the superior court um, in that various state. Uh, so you'll want to know which one is which, who's appealing and uh, who's the plaintiff. Uh, procedural history. This is the motions um, through the court system to get to this point in the case. Uh, so we have here plaintiff appeals after verdict for defendant in, and that's in the trial court. Um, and then next we have the issue. So what's, what is, um, what is being, uh, what, it, what is uh, disagreed upon in this particular case. So this one is whether the trial court erred in giving the sudden emergency instruction to the jury. <clears throat> the holding is the answer to the issue. Um, yes, trial court erred in giving sudden emergency instruction to juries. This is what the uh, appellate court found. This is what they, they um, held. Um, the rule is the general rule that they based, uh, they answered the issue with and to receive the holding. Uh, a person cannot claim sudden emergency defense if through their own negligence they put their self in a position of peril. Um, their reasoning, so you're, you're going to want to go through how the court came uh, to their decision uh, between the issue, from the issue to the rule, uh, then you have the reasoning and that's how you get the holding and then finally the judgment. Um, so the reasoning is defendant admitted that she was following too closely, thus putting herself in peril through her negligence of following too closely. Um, if she put herself in peril, uh, the sudden emergency defense is not valid. Um, that brings us to the judgment, which is reversed and remanded for a new trial. So they reversed the trial court um, decision or ruling for uh, the defendant and um, your facts of the court case these um, are, are various things you'll find in the case that are pertinent to the court's decision um, I've listed here plaintiff was driving so this is just anything relevant to the case plaintiff was driving um, when a woman pushed a stroller in the street uh, the Plaintiff braked to avoid hitting the woman. The defendant, following closely behind, hits Post's car. Uh, the defendant obviously testified that she was following closely and made a mistake. And then um, the uh, Post's objection to the sudden emergency instruction in the jury, uh, which she later appealed for. So this is how you write a case brief. Um, it's very... Uh, standard and you know some of your cases won't have all this information in it you just want to do the best you can we'll look at another one here Robinson Lindsay um, so this one I don't have labeled but uh, this is the name of the case here's the parties this is um, procedural history issue uh, holding This is just something I put in um, to explain to myself, and then here's the fact. So obviously I didn't have all the information in this one, you might not, but uh, if your teacher's calling you for the Socratic method, uh, you're going to want to have these so that you can answer uh, their questions. Um, yep, yeah, so that is how you do a case brief.